Look, new boxing gloves. Now, obviously that's a joke. I've uh, had these a while. Um, these are the Spez Heavy Gauntlets, and I wanted to do just a super quick review and kind of a commentary on them as well. Uh, it seems I missed a memo where it's rag on the Spez Heavy's month. Um, I've seen a number of totally independent sources who are, who are complaining about these, uh, so I thought I'd throw in my, my opinions on them. And, super quickly, I think they're really great. Um, I really like how protective they are. I've taken full smash hits with long swords on the back of the hand and barely felt anything. Um, these are an older model. They do have sort of the, the vulnerable thumb, but the newer models have fixed that. And Spez is a really great company. They produce really great products and they uh, are affordable, which is a major plus for any kind of HEMA gear. Um, safety is paramount and these are absolutely great for that. I have almost no fear of damaging my precious, precious hands while wearing these. Um, a lot of people don't seem to like them. Uh, they have the weird sort of three finger setup, which people complain about. They have their, their bulky, which people complain about. Um, but I think in my experience, most people who really know what they're talking about really seem to like them. Um, yeah, they are bulky. There's not really any getting around that. Uh, they have a really large profile. So things that might not have actually hit your hands register to everyone as a hand hit because you can hear it really loud and you can feel it through the glove. Um, maybe your hands would have been would not have been hit, but maybe they would have anyway. Anyway, simple after that is get better at protecting your hands. Uh, keep your hands as far away from a sharp sword as possible is always good life advice. Um, get good, scrub. So, I like them. Absolutely would buy them again. I think uh, in terms of their affordability and safety, they're the absolute best things on the market right now. Um, so addressing some of the complaints people have about them of not having good hand mobility, uh, I think that's kind of a load of crap. Um, we have most HEMA style uh, training weapons have a really, really long handle. Uh, so. Even in these gloves, which are, yeah, kind of bulky, you can get a good grip and you can still do the proper hand trick. It's impossible to see through this glove. But in terms of what I'm doing, like, I'm still holding the sword properly. I'm not doing it with a hammer fist. I can still get that sort of handshake grip that we like um, just fine through these gloves. One thing, one really, really, really awesome thing about these gloves is just how thin the palm is. The leather on the palm is super thin, so you get really awesome feedback from the sword. It feels like you're wearing just a thin glove against the sword, and I love feeling that. Um, you get a lot more feedback from blade binds and that kind of thing when you don't have, like, a quarter inch of, of material in between you and the sword. So I feel that's really great for sensitivity. I am, um, in terms of, even if we are not using something like that, but something like a more period style length hilt, I can still get my hands on there. Yeah, I have to wrap my hand fairly low down around the pommel just because of the bulkiness, but I can still move around. I can deliver any cut I like. I can damage the light fixtures. No, it's good. Um, I can switch grips. Super easy. I can half sword. I can I can grapple in these. I can't demonstrate that right now, but I can grapple in these. Uh, not as much as, say, a, a five-fingered version, but at the same time, um, you don't necessarily need to do the, the fine fine grabbing and grab, grappling uh, when you're having a sword fight. Anyway, uh, when you're dealing with getting swords off a rack, it can be a right proper pain, but how often does that happen when you're armored up? Uh, in terms of a single-handed sword, it gets a little more dicey um, in terms of, of your grip. You can't quite get that handshake grip, and if you have any kind of complex hilt, forget about it. Um, any kind of side sword hilt, uh, these are not what you want. But in that case, you have extra hand protection anyway, so you don't need quite as protective a glove. Um, but in terms of even just doing this, you can still move the sword around plenty fine. I still have a decent handshake grip on it. It's not as perfect, but it is just fine.
Um, so, these are great gloves. They're affordable. They're super protective. Uh, if you're looking at your first HEMA gloves, and I know I was agonizing about this kind of thing for hours uh, and days and weeks about which gloves to buy, these are a fantastic choice. The Spez Heavies, go out and get them. Bye.